everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to bring a Korean skincare review. I've been using those products for two weeks and I have my honest review about them. If you are new, welcome. If you love skincare, if you love luxury reviews, if you love lifestyle and planning and organization, this channel is for you. So click subscribe. And also, if you're not already, follow me on Instagram at Christopher A821. The brand that I focused on was Elizaveca. If you search Korean skincare, Elizaveca is one of the brands that will come up first. They have a very large line of products. Um, the first Elizaveca product we're going to talk about is a facial mask. Um, actually, three of them are facial masks, but it is called Kangsapak, and it is a gold-based facial mask, which says it tightens and brightens along with minimizing pores. Um, I went ahead and put it on my hand. You can see the gold hue to it. As it dries down, it turns white. So you know it's completely dry once it has completely turned white. And that's when you go to rinse it off. To be honest with you, I used this about four times, maybe five times over the last two weeks. Um, it has a really mild scent. It went on really smooth. It definitely was gold and dried down white and rinsed off and came off really well with leaving no residue. As far as tightening, brightening, and pore minimizing, I didn't really see any difference. Usually with a tightening mask, you can definitely feel it under your eye or on your cheeks, and I just didn't really feel that big of a difference with this. Um, yeah, I wasn't that impressed. I'm probably not going to use this after this video. Um, but as far as the packaging, it's a, that part's adorable. Um, all the packaging from Elizaveca is really adorable, but this mask just didn't really do anything special for me. The next mask I'm going to talk about is the Hell Pore Cleanup Mask. This mask is used to clean out your pores to get in there and really take care of business. It has a gray tint to it and it dries down in about 15-20 minutes. And I would say this isn't an all over face mask. This is really a zone in on your trouble spots. For me, I put it over my nose, above my top lip, on my forehead because those are my breakout spots and where I have the most trouble with my skin. And I absolutely love this mask, but I'm not going to lie to you. It definitely tingles on your skin when you first put it on. And once you go to remove it, it is a little painful to take off. And I don't know about you, but I actually like when a mask hurts a little bit when you take it off, especially when it claims to be a pore cleanser. And I want to know that it is really cleaning out my white pores. So I will tell you, my face was a little bit red and it hurt peeling it off to the point where I actually took a break. But I really like this mask. I will be repurchasing and I really enjoyed it. The next mask I'm going to talk about, I saw so many uh, reviews around it. It was a carbonated bubble clay mask. This is one of those masks that you put on and then it bubbles up. And for the heck of it, why not put it on now? So this mask is charcoal based, which definitely means it brings some pore minimizing traits to it. Um, as you have it on, you can feel it tingling as it foams up. The first time I applied it, I got it way too close to my eyes, my mouth, and my nostrils, and there came a point where I could, couldn't breathe, and I had to wash it off. So I definitely learned my lesson to keep it a little bit further away um, and allow it to foam up. But as far as did I see it minimize my pores, like I said, I probably used this one about five times because I really love the tingling sensation, but I didn't see a huge difference um, around pore minimization. However, I would say that my skin felt really smooth. Um, it felt really moisturized. It didn't feel dried out, um, and it definitely felt really clean. So I definitely liked it. I just don't know if I'd rebuy it. I will definitely look into a bunch of other carbonated masks. If you have any recommendations around other great carbonated masks or bubble masks, please leave them down below because I'd love to try a couple different ones to find which one I really like. Um, the next product we're going to talk about is not a facial mask. It is a Hell Pore Control Hyaluronic Acid. Um, and I just put some on my hand. It comes out as a gel. I would say you could use this as like a primer to kind of tighten and close up your pores. I use this across my nose and I definitely did see a difference with my pores minimizing. Um, but it wasn't very hydrating. Um, 
I don't apply anything on top of it, so I can't tell you like how it would work as a primer, but if you wanted to definitely tighten and shrink down your pores, I think this could be a good way to go. It goes on as a gel, and it did take quite some time for it to dry down, so if you were to use this under something, I really don't know if your makeup will slide or move on it, um, but if you're using it alone just to tighten up pores, I think it does work really well, but leave yourself some time in your schedule to let it dry. And then the last product I'm going to talk about from a Elizaveca is the Gold CF Nest White Balm Eye Cream. Um, this was just a really nice, clean white eye cream. I used this every night for eight days, and I saw no difference. Um, it went on. I didn't see any difference in puffiness or brightening. I not even moisture. I just didn't see a difference with this. Um, I'm also very spoiled by my eye creams that I use. Uh, definitely will be using the carbonated bubble mask and definitely be using, and I highly recommend, the Hellpour Cleanup Mask. This is really, really great and um, I recommend you to try it if you really want to get a deep clean on your pores. If you like this video, which I hope you did, please click, did you see that? I just I don't know if you saw that, but the foam literally cascaded from my face. So that is all I have for you. I will leave all the products linked down below in case you want to give them a try. If you like this video, please click subscribe. I bring content to you every single week, and I will leave this video like I leave every single video. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Bye-bye.